How's it going everybody? My name is Eric and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how to scan wirelessly on your Macintosh computer or on your Windows computer scanning from a Canon printer. There is a video index in the description so if you want to skip to Mac or skip to PC whatever you're looking for so you don't have to watch the whole video you can go there. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel consider subscribing and let's get into the tutorial. So you're going to need a Canon printer. It's gonna have to already be set up. It's gonna have to be connected to Wi-Fi. It's gonna have to be already installed on your printer. I'm not showing you how to install your printer. I'm literally just showing you, once you have the printer installed, how to scan it. Because you use different programs on the computer and that's kind of where I got hung up, did some research, figured it out, and I figured I'd share it with everybody. So here's the printer we're using for the tutorial. It is a Canon G4210, but it should work for a lot of printers across the board, especially if it's a Canon printer. Now, this printer, we have a flatbed scanner. That's great for books, single pages, or if you wanna scan a couple of pictures at the same time, we also have this top document feed scanner, which is great for if you have a stack of papers that you want to feed and you don't wanna to have to change paper one by one. If you were to be scanning using the flatbed scanner, you would open this up, put your paper in, push the edge all the way back. There's an arrow in the back left corner. You want your paper to be all the way that way and all the way that way, touching that corner. And then you'll close the top and get it ready to scan. We're actually going to scan with that document feed scanner. So we're gonna place our stack of papers face up in the scanner. It should beep, meaning that it's loaded. And then I will see you guys on the computer. Once you're on your computer, your printer is already installed. You've already printed to your computer. It works perfectly fine. I'm gonna go to your finder up here and type in image capture. That is the secret program that if you didn't know, then you'd be really frustrated not knowing how to scan on your Mac. So here it says shared one. We're gonna hit this arrow. It brings a drop down to Canon G4010, whatever series yours is. Could be different. And we're gonna click on that. And that's going to select that printer and that scanner combo as what we're gonna be using for this image capture program. Okay, once you select your scanner, it gives you these quick options. You can pick where you want the scan to save to and desktop is just easy so you can see it. What's the size of the paper if you're using the document feeder or the flatbed and then you can just hit scan. Or if you want more customizable options, you go to show details and then you get all of these other options. So flatbed document, kind, text, black and white or color. Text is really, just if you're scanning text and you want the text that you're scanning to be editable, that takes some playing around with. If you're just making a copy of something you need to email or print to somebody for proof of something, black and white's usually just fine even if it's a text document. Resolution is how the quality of the scan is gonna be. So the lowest number is gonna be the least quality, it's gonna be the smallest file. The highest number is gonna be the highest quality, but it's gonna be the biggest file. If you notice you scan, the quality is not good enough, maybe you can bump it up or if you're scanning and the file is too big to send, maybe you can bump it down. This is the size of the paper that you're gonna be scanning, orientation, where you're gonna be scanning it to, we saw that already, what you wanna call it, so you could call it work docs or whatever you wanna call it. The format is kind of important. If you're gonna scan it into a JPEG, it's gonna be a picture. PNG is gonna be a picture. JPEG 2000 is gonna be a picture, but you're probably not gonna be using that. TIFF, I really don't know what that is. And PDF is usually what people use for documents. So I'm gonna scan this into a PDF, black and white, 200 DPI, and combine into a single document. Basically is gonna be those three papers that we put into the scanner earlier in the video. It's gonna put them all into one single document that I can send to somebody rather than having three separate documents that I have to send. It's a really cool feature, so I recommend doing that if you wanna keep all of those documents into one single document. Image correction, I don't really use that. And then we're just going to hit scan. And as it's scanning, it should be feeding those papers through on your scanner our document is done. Here are my two pages, and then there is my last page right there. Some of these wrinkles here probably would be better if I put it in the flatbed. Sometimes feeding it through the document feeder, it, it can tear up pages. So it just depends. Try to solve your problems accordingly. But thank you guys for watching the tutorial on how to scan wirelessly on your Mac, and now we're going to show how to do it on a PC. So here we are on our Windows computer. There is this program called Fax and Scan, but I haven't been able to get that to work correctly. But if you go to the Microsoft Store, open that store up and then type in Scan. 
you should get this program called Windows Scan. It's got terrible reviews, but it does give you the function of scanning pretty simply and for free. I'm gonna hit install. It might ask you to sign in, but you just can X out of that. And it is now downloading and installing the Windows Scan app. Okay, we're going to hit launch. It should recognize your scanner source auto configured we're going to use the feeder we'll scan to png and then we're going to hit this scan button right here it's now sucking the paper through my printer scanner okay so it's scanned and created three different files we're going to hit view and there are there should be if you open this folder here and you go to pictures there's a scan folder and that's where it's scanned the three documents too so if i had to email these to somebody or save them or whatever those are where your documents are the scan app does have a couple more options uh, where you can change your file type for instance if you wanted to do a pdf if your quality isn't as good you can change the dpi to higher it is going to make your file size bigger but 150 is the smallest you can change your page size to letter and you can change where you save the files too. So I'm actually going to run these through the scanner one more time as a PDF and see if it compiles them all into one document. If you are scanning documents, you're probably gonna wanna change the file type to PDF. If you are scanning pictures, then you're gonna have to change it to either JPEG or to PNG. Okay, so if we go back to that folder, it did indeed scan all three into a PDF compiled. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. So that's a little bit easier for documents than doing it how we did earlier. That is one way to scan on a Windows computer. I'm sure there's more programs and ways out there. This way, we just seemed like very simple, very easy, very free. And I do appreciate everyone for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. If you have any other technical problems you want to maybe see solved, let me know about it in the comment section, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.